Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sean Michael Walker with Premier Group Insurance, and this is an insurance you indemnify me short outtake. And today I just wanted to review with you uh, something that we all learned at some point in growing up, probably somewhere in high school. And, uh, and I just want to remind you of it really, really fast. What percent of all communication is verbal? You're all wrong. <laughs> it's a lot less than you think. Uh, it is 7%. 7% of all communication is verbal. Uh, you're then probably thinking, okay, I knew body language was a big portion of it or a part of it. Uh, so is tone and pitch. So tone and pitch is actually the next 38% of um, of communication. So I could say, yes, honey, I'll do the laundry. Um but if I go, yes, honey, I'll do the laundry, uh, one of them is communicating the exact same thing verbally. Uh, the other one is communicating two separate messages through tone and pitch. One is, yes, I actually would absolutely love to do it. The other one is, are you kidding me? I really don't want to do it, even though the words coming out of my mouth say I want to do it and will do it. The tone and pitch suggests that I have very little inclination to want to do it. Um, the last one, of course, I've already mentioned it is, body language. 55% of our communication with other humans and our interactions is done through body language. Um, and I could give you the same example about the laundry. Hey, honey, could you do the laundry? Yes, yeah, sure, honey. I would love to do the laundry. The tone and pitch suggests it. The words suggest it. But if my body language doesn't suggest it or my or I have a peculiar look on my face that is uh, sarcastic, my body language will be communicating something different than what the tone and pitch communicated and what the words communicated. So um, remember that when you're interacting with your clients. Are you meeting with your clients face-to-face? If you're not meeting with your clients face-to-face -face because you're getting your leads through a mortgage lender, then uh, you might be losing the body language aspect of your communication. Over half of, of, um, over half of the percent, 55% of your communication will not be understood by your client because they can't see or read your body language. This is one reason why I suggest often that you make Loom videos. So when you're doing your video presentations or a video to introduce yourself to your new client, this is who we are. This is who our agency is. These are shots of our staff of our agency. This is what's going on in our agency. So they can see body language. So they can see uh, the humans that they're going to be interacting with, confident humans that they're interacting with. Um, also in the in the, in the video proposals so they can see your confidence in the proposal that you're giving them or your confidence in the three different proposals that you're giving them, the best price, the best coverage, and, you know, uh, leaving it open to them to choose their, their, their favorite of all of the options as well. So uh, how we communicate in this world, 7% verbal, 38% tone and pitch, and 55% body language. How are you doing at communicating with your clients in the realities of your agency? And that's all I have for you today. My name is Sean Michael Walker with Premier Group Insurance. This is Insurance You Indemnify, and we will catch you later.